What's up everybody, Justin here with Bear Zapper Barbecue. As you can see, we got the big green egg going. We're getting it up to about 250, between 250 to 75. We got some beautiful certified Angus prime uh, strip steaks. We're gonna make our uh, a, a, a chimichurri sauce to go on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse sear, then I'm gonna throw them on the coals, get that nice, nice crust on the outside, uh, real pink in the middle, uh, throw that chimichurri on. We're also gonna do some corn on the cob on the egg. Um, we're going to keep that, uh, wrapped up tight in the husk and, um, uh, we're just going to, we're going to crush this. Listen, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to start with creating, um, or, or binding the, the steak, uh, with some Baron Burton's W sauce that I'm going to throw on, um, Bama Grill Masters AP rub. Um, and all those items can be found on Lane's barbecue site. So head on down to the link, uh, the link below, click that. I'm, I'm telling you, you will absolutely love it. They're fantastic products. Um, I, I can't say enough really great things about them. Super pumped to do uh, my own chimichurri sauce. So let's get the smoking and uh, stop talking. Peace. What up, everybody? We've got two beautiful certified Angus prime strips here. We're going to start off by hitting it with some of that W sauce. Create a nice binder on there for the seasoning. And for our seasoning, we're going to be using some of that I guys. Uh, awesome collaboration mixture between uh, Bama Grillmaster and Lane's Barbecue. All right, so we're hitting it on all sides. I'm a huge, huge fan of Baron Burton's W sauce. Honestly, the best Worcestershire sauce uh, I've come across. So. Highly recommend it. All right, now we're gonna hit it with that. All right, guys, we want it to be nice and coated. We want a good coating on this. Beautiful. We're gonna flip, side action. So I'm gonna wash my hands and flip. Hey, switch hands. We're going stranger here, folks. Stranger. Let's go. All right. I'm far less coordinated with that hand. There we go. Flip it again. Beautiful. And oh, I'll flip it again. And hit that fat side. You can get any of these. Uh, you can get the Baron Burtons, uh, as well as the AP rub here. Uh, on Lane's, or at Lane's Barbecue, on Lane's Barbecue's website. Hit that link in my, uh, my description below for any of uh, these, these products that you see. Highly recommend those. I'm gonna let these bad boys rest up just for a little bit, and then we're gonna make a chimichurri sauce. First time doing that, and I'm super pumped to try it. So hang tight. All right, so the <clears throat> Meat is still resting, uh, letting the um, seasoning adhere to it. So we're going to make our chimichurri sauce. That way we can throw that in the fridge, let all the all the flavors come together. The first thing that we're going to do is take half of a cup of olive oil. Cool. And two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. that I have apparently never opened before. Again, that was two tablespoons of this. One. Make 
mix that up nice. We're gonna toss that in our bowl here. All right. <clears throat> now, we are going to take our fresh parsley. Chop it up. We want about a half a cup of this. I love the smell of fresh Italian parsley. We got the flat parsley. Uh, not the uh, spiral. I think it's called spiral. Uh, but we got the flat parsley. Big fan of that. Just want to make sure we're cutting it up real nice. We're also going to take some, um, some uh, pepper. You can use red chilies. You can use any peppers you want. I'm going a little bit more mild. Um, mainly because I want my wife and kids to want this. Awesome. Cool. Wrap the parsley back up. That was about a half a cup. We're going to take uh, about four garlic cloves. We're going to chop those up as well. I actually, um, have some here. We're going to cut off the little end nubbin. Carefully slice that up, and then we're just going to chop it. Cool. And we're going to do the same with the rest of these. these up nice. it into the into the mixing bowl all right <clears throat> now we are going to take um, one pepper here we go all right so we are going to take you can either take two uh, small red chili peppers or um, one medium chili pepper. I've got a slightly more mild one here uh, and I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to use about half of this. I don't need a too, too peppery. Cool. 
chop these up. We actually really only need about two tablespoons worth. Um, this is going to definitely be overkill, but that's okay. was just for dramatic purposes only. There we go. That's good. Now we are going to take some dried oregano. We need about three quarters of a teaspoon of that, so we're just going to eyeball it. Uh, that's about good. We need some coarse salt and just a little bit of pepper. I am just going to add just a little bit of red chili flakes in here just to give it some, some bite, but not too much where they won't eat it. All right. About a teaspoon worth. That's probably good. We don't need too much salt in our lives. And then some black pepper. That's good. Good. Alright, now we're gonna mix it up real nice. throw just a little bit more parsley in there. Some people make this in a blender or food processor. I don't think it's needed. Just chop it up. I think it looks better when it's not all tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. There we go. Way better. Yup. Banging. All right, now, I'm gonna give it a nice mix. Look at that. It smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for just a bit. I would say like, it, I would give it like a half an hour to an hour or so in the fridge, just hanging out. Really let those um, uh, flavors come together. Um, and I, I'm telling you, you're gonna absolutely love this, so. All right, so we got them up to about 120-ish, 115-ish, actually. 
Now we threw them directly on the coals. We're gonna let them sear right alongside our corn. Bring them inside, let's rest. Mix our chimichurri one more time and uh, we're gonna slice and eat. All right, we rested it for about 12 minutes. And we slice in. Beautiful cut, nice and floppy. Awesome char on the outside. But the most important part is the taste test. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, baby, that's good. Beautiful. Let's do this. All right, we lined up our steak. We hit it with that chimichurri sauce. Look at that. That is beautiful. We got our corn. Now it's time to grub. Let's go.